ingenious ways to solve difficult agricultural problems. These farmers took things to the next level. Here are 15 ingenious farming technologies. Number 15, electric weed killer. No matter if you're running an agricultural farm or have a backyard at home, there's one thing that can become the scourge of what you're trying to grow, weeds. There are a few ways of dealing with them. You could, of course, pluck them by hand, but in a huge field, this is completely impractical. So traditionally, farmers have turned to chemicals to stop them from growing. This presents its own challenges, however, with concerns about their impact on local wildlife and on the people that eat the final crop that's grown in the fields. But there's a completely safe alternative, an electric weed killer. Attached to a tractor, the electrified arms are calibrated to determine the difference between the crop that's supposed to be growing in the field and anything else. When it comes into contact with something that shouldn't be there, it delivers a large electric shock. The intruding plant goes up in flames and is burned right down through to the roots to prevent it from regrowing. It takes longer than simply spraying the field, but the benefits that come from using this method are worth it in the long run. Number 14, Robot Fruit Picker. Of all the crops that are grown on farms, fruits are by far the most delicate. While there have been machines that are used to plow fields and cut wheat for decades, until recently, fruit farmers have had to rely on everyone being plucked by hand. This is not only because the flesh of the fruit is soft so needs to be handled carefully, but also because the trees and bushes can't be damaged, otherwise they may not grow more fruit during the next season. Robotic technology is, however, catching up, and farms around the world are beginning to replace their human laborers with machine ones. They're designed to mimic human hands, so can hold and twist the fruit like a person would, but when used correctly, can be a lot more efficient. During trials of a new machine in England, it was found that a robot raspberry picker could collect more than 25,000 raspberries in a day, compared to the 15,000 done by hand. But at more than a million dollars per robot, it's not yet cost-effective to roll this out on a mass scale. Number 13. Driverless Tractor From cars to planes, the race is on to develop driverless technologies across industry, and farm vehicles aren't being left behind. In fact, devices to reduce human input on tractors have been around since the 1940s, but in recent years, designers have been able to combine the advances made for road vehicles and apply them to their own products. By using a combination of GPS signals and lasers that communicate with transponders, it's been possible for a while for one person to control a number of tractors as they moved around the field either cutting crops or spraying them. The next step, however, is the removal of the on-site operator and the introduction of fully autonomous tractors. Without the need for a cab for someone to sit in, they can be designed completely differently and solely with functionality in mind, meaning they're smaller, use less energy, and can continue working all day long. Soon, these will be commonplace on farms around the world, meaning farmers can focus on other responsibilities instead. Number 12, Leaf Vacuum Cleaner. You may think of vacuum cleaners as being machines that help to keep the home tidy, but they have a valuable use on a farm too. Once harvesters have been across a field and taken all the useful parts of a crop, they leave huge amounts of discarded material behind. Historically, this debris would have been collected manually or simply left to mulch into the ground. But there's now a new solution, the leaf vacuum cleaner. Fitted with a cutter at the front, sensors detect parts of the plants that still need to be removed and chop them, while the suction unit in the back lifts up all the waste and deposits it into a collection bucket. It's an ingenious way to keep fields clear, which is especially useful where space is at a premium and allow farmers to maximize their harvest without spending as much time clearing up after themselves. Number 11. Vertical Farming With increasing concerns about valuable space and the amount of distance food has to be transported to the people who need it, the idea of vertical farming has become increasingly popular since the concept was first introduced in its current form in 1999. Instead of growing crops over an open field, vertical farming uses stacked layers, some of which can be rotated on mechanisms to expose all of the crops to the light and nutrients that they need to grow. There are various different designs that are used, and they're usually constructed in conjunction with other technologies such as LED lighting and hydroponics. Not only does the technique allow for more to be grown in a smaller space, but it has a much lower impact on local wildlife. The crops can be controlled in such a way that the risk of disease is significantly reduced, and they can be built virtually anywhere, including underground. In some cases, it's been found that crop yield can increase tenfold by vertical farming. But this comes at a price, 
with one study from Australia finding that it would cost more than 850 times the amount of a traditional farm, mostly because of the energy demands of the lighting. Number 10. Underwater Monitoring Seafood is incredibly popular around the world. As with other food sources, it's become completely impractical to fulfill the demand by simply going out to sea to fish. Now, mass-scale ocean farms are being built on coastlines where huge quantities of fish can be bred and harvested. While this concept isn't particularly new, it's certainly benefiting from new technologies. Traditionally, fish would be added to an enclosure and fed on a regular routine before being removed after a set amount of time when they were deemed to be ready. But it wasn't possible to monitor them in real time to understand how well they are developing and whether any diseases were being transmitted. Now, however, sophisticated measurement devices and underwater cameras are installed in each of the pens, which allow the farmers to see precisely how much food the fish need and how healthy they are behaving, which has enabled them to adopt their processes to significantly increase their yield. This is absolutely crucial for the industry because as populations increase, so will the demand for fish, and any way to improve the supply will make it much more cost-effective. Number 9. Automatic Cow Milker One of the most popular products that are produced on farms is milk, but the process of extracting milk from cows has come a long way since the old days when it all had to be done by hand. Technology has existed for decades where farmers had to attach suction cups to the udders and let machines take over the rest of the work. But now, they don't even need to do that. In many places, the entire process is automated, and there's very little need for human involvement at all. The cows are free to walk around the field and can enter the milking building whenever they want. Upon entry, they're identified by their electronic tag, and if it has been milked too recently, a gate opens up and they're let back out into the field. If there's been enough time since their last visit, their udders are brushed and cleaned before lasers are used to measure their exact position so the milk pumps can be attached as gently as possible before activating. Not only do machines like this reduce the number of staff that's needed to be present, but they actually increase the yield of milk that's produced by as much as 12%. The cows are smart enough to join queues where they're their shortest, and by being milked more often, they're much healthier too. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top Fives with notifications on. Number 8. Wastewater Reclamation One of the biggest concerns on agricultural farms is the huge amount of water that needs to be used, especially as it's becoming an increasingly valuable commodity. This has led to the development of a number of technologies that help to reuse water a number of times, which is both cost-efficient and better for the environment. The main problem, of course, is ensuring crops are given water that contains enough nutrients they need and to prevent disease from being circulated. Systems now include sensors in the soil to measure the water quality and the health of the plants, and the wastewater that's being reclaimed is carefully monitored and mixed with fresh water to optimize the yield. Compounds can also be added to the water during the process to provide nutrient-rich and pathogen-free water that's safe to be used anywhere that it's needed. Number 7. Variable Rate Seed Drilling When planting crops, it's important to get the spread just right. If they're too densely packed, you can waste seed, create canopies that are too thick, and risk a higher incidence of disease. While if they aren't planted close enough, you won't maximize the yield of the field. There are a number of factors to take into account when working out where each seed should be placed and the amount of nutrients available, such as the soil texture, the stoniness, and the clottiness. But this varies across the same field. Previously, farmers would have to work this out themselves or make a best guess, but variable rate seed drilling offers a technological solution. First, a detailed survey of the field is conducted with electrical conductivity scanning and LiDAR mapping, and this data is input into the specialized software. When it's time to drive the seed driller across the field, the computer calculates the machine's exact position and automatically plants seeds in the optimal position. This majorly increases the amount of crop that can be efficiently grown in a field and saves farm managers a huge amount of time by not having to work it out by themselves. Number 6. Potato Harvesting Machine Potatoes have been an important crop for centuries, but with the way that they grow underground, harvesting them can be a labor-intensive process. Early devices to pull them from the ground were pulled by horses, but even then there was a limit to how much ground could be covered each day. Modern machines, on the other hand, can do the same work but in a fraction of the time able to dig as many as 20 lines of potatoes at once, 
they scoop runners below the top layer of soil to pick the potatoes up. The crop is then passed over a series of sieves that removes the loose soil and stones before finally removing the potato stems in one smooth automated process. The vegetables are then deposited in the collection bucket, ready to be washed. With one of these, farmers can cover several acres in a matter of hours, significantly increasing the yield that they're able to achieve from their land and reducing the number of man hours that are required to retrieve them. Number 5. Automatic Egg Collection With such high demand for eggs at low prices, farms have been forced to use technology to automate the process and massively increase the number that they can produce meaning the machines are used on an unbelievable scale. The hens are kept in houses that have conveyor belts underneath their roosts, so as soon as they lay an egg, the egg is on its way to be packaged. They're carried on soft rubber mats to ensure no breakages happen on the way and are taken into the processing room next door. It's here that they're carefully cleaned by machine and sorted by size before being sent to the relevant place to be put into boxes. The only human involvement is at this stage, where they're visually inspected before robot arms pick them up and place them in boxes, which are then automatically taken away. A facility like this can produce hundreds of thousands of eggs in a day, and the machinery involved can be custom designed to fit into the available space. With the addition of automatic feeders and water bowls, the entire process of producing eggs can be done with surprisingly little human interaction. Number 4. Drone Monitoring not only do farmers have to do the actual work on their farm, but they have to meticulously plan how to get the best out of their land that they can to extract as much profit as possible. Typically, this would involve driving through the fields to assess how crops and livestock are doing. But with new technologies, this role can be done faster and more efficiently than ever. Drones are key to this, as they can fly across the land and provide an aerial view of how things are progressing. Not only does this provide data on when plants are emerging, but can predict the total yield so plans can be made for its cultivation, and information can be determined about the quality of the soil and the drainage needs for the next season. Soil temperature, moisture, slope, and elevation details can be captured by drones in a matter of minutes and help determine the best crops to grow in certain areas, how much fertilizer may be needed, and reduce waste. Furthermore, they can be used to quickly assess fields in time of disaster like a storm and immediately show losses that have been incurred so provisions can be made. Number 3. Shellfish Baskets Shellfish are a popular food product, but there's no way enough can be collected simply by searching for them naturally in the ocean. To overcome this, shellfish farmers have for a long time used baskets that allow them to grow in their natural environment while being protected from predators. Even this method isn't perfect, however, and now there are shellfish baskets available that, by applying new technologies, allow their production on a massive scale, allowing farmers to produce far more product in the same amount of water. The baskets are made with as wide a mesh size as possible to let the water flow through while allowing oysters, scallops, or urchins to grow, and can be placed in long rows in shallow water. While some versions require someone to manually lift them up and take them for processing, there are designs where all of the baskets are connected together, and the entire line can be pulled from the water automatically on electronic rollers. Furthermore, cameras placed inside the baskets allow for the farmers to know precisely when's the best time to reel them in for harvest, and monitors placed in the water let them know how much oxygen and nutrients are available to the crop, and therefore, if anything needs to be added. Number 2. Self-Loading Bale Trailer Virtually everything that's produced on a farm can either be sold or reused, and hay is a great example of this. Rather than disposing of cut grass, it's allowed to dry up and then can be collected to feed animals. The difficulty, though, is that it's produced in such large volumes that it's extremely time-consuming to collect and store it. You've most likely seen hay bales on farmland, and these are now automatically made by machines that collect the grass and roll it up. They have to be left in the field to further dry up, however, and traditionally would then have to be rolled by hand back to the farmhouse, or lifted onto the back of a truck. There's a different way to do this, though. A self-loading bay trailer. Instead of the laborious task of picking them up by hand, all a farmer needs to do is drive alongside a bale with his specialized truck, and it will use the momentum to hold onto it, lift it up, and drop it into the container. With one of these, a farmer can clear entire fields in a day when it would have used to take far longer meaning they can focus on more profitable sides of the business. Number 1. Solar-Powered Weed Killer Weeds are undoubtedly one of the biggest annoyances to crop farmers, and they contribute to huge costs that could be much better spent elsewhere. 
Usually, they are forced to spray their crops with large amounts of herbicide to clear them of unwanted plants, but for the crops to survive this, they themselves have to be genetically altered. In fact, the seed and pesticide industry is estimated to be worth $100 billion per year, 26 billion of which is on herbicides, and a large portion of the rest is on modified seeds that can withstand those pesticides. It's a never-ending spiral that ends up in increasing production costs and dependency on genetically modified foods, so surely it would be best if this could be avoided altogether. One company has developed an ingenious device that gets rid of weeds, doesn't cost anything to run, and can autonomously do the job all day long. With large solar panels on their surface, these robots generate all the power that they need and use AI systems to detect unwanted weeds and spray a targeted microdose of herbicide onto them. It has the potential to save the farming industry billions of dollars, savings that will hopefully be passed on to the consumer too. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.